All right, so welcome everyone. This is me, Rajneesh Gupta, and uh, with me I have Jamin Patak. This is our Mitre Hat. Sorry, this is our mock interview series. Uh, and uh, uh, without taking much time, let's get started. I believe you are already familiar with the process, wherein Jamin will be the interviewer and I'll be the interviewee, the candidate. Okay, so let's get started. Hi, Jamin. How are you? I'm good, Rajneesh. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So today's question is on hackers. Okay. What are black hat, white hat, and gray hat hackers? Uh, well, uh, basically, black hat hackers are like malicious. Okay. So they are like the cyber criminals. Okay. So they hack with the intention of a malicious purpose the they don't have the permission that's very important and that that's play a very important role in differentiating all of them all of them as in black white gray okay so they don't have a permission so they they whatever they are doing that's uh you know they 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 do it for the personal gain they try to cause disruption by using denial of service attack maybe ransomware attack maybe data breaches when we talk about the white hat hackers, they they are ethical in nature. The another name for them is ethical hacker, or uh, you could say penetration tester. They use their the same kind of a skill that black hat hackers have. They might use the same kind of a tool as well, but for a good purpose. They do it only once they get the permission from the organization, and they. The purpose is to identify what I mean, why organization would do it is because organization want uh, them to identify the vulnerability before the real attacker or hacker would do it. Uh, there are uh, different platforms available like, uh, you know, there are different, uh, you know, a platform like uh, HackerOne, uh, which is a bug bounty platform. Uh, which help us to, which help the organization to connect with hackers as well, who who find the vulnerability and report it to them. Now, there's a gray hat hackers, which is which is somewhere in in the middle. Uh, they they might not be completely malicious, but they again they don't they don't have any kind of a permission from the organization again so uh, they do it without any permission without any consent from the organization they might not disrupt anything but they might do it maybe for the learning purpose or maybe they want to get understanding about how the organization works and everything uh, so that that's basically the difference uh, between black hat and uh, white hat and gray hat hackers so yeah. Great, great. Yeah. So, out of them, which one is legal? Uh, well, I mean, so when we talk about the legal or illegal stuff, it's all depends on if we have uh, agreement, uh, you know, between parties, or uh, maybe in a in a you know a very casual way, if I would say, it's permission or consent. So out of all three, only white hat, white hat hackers uh, have permissions, okay? Because they are ethical hackers or they can be a penetration tester, like an employee. So they have complete permission. That's why they are they are only they are the only one who who have uh, the legal uh, contracts or permission available. Rest. Uh, black hat hackers and gray hat hackers they don't have the permission and that's the reason uh, they are completely illegal so yeah okay then how can we identify potential black hat hackers uh, well I mean you see uh, when we talk about identifying any black hat hackers there are uh, you know, they, they just treat them like a criminals, cyber criminals, right? So it's it's just just about finding the uh, you know attackers. So there are multiple ways to identify, detect them. There are multiple ways to uh, detect their attempt. Technically, like EDR tool, SIM tool, antivirus software, they are all 
helpful in terms of identifying or detecting threats. But there is a framework available as well in terms of uh, knowing what group, what black hat hacker group is involved or a person is involved or who is after your your organization. Okay, so earlier there was a very popular framework called Cyber Kill Chain. Uh, but currently, there is another uh, framework which is widely used, which is called MITRE ATT&CK. It's, an, it's a framework which is globally accessible and globally available. Uh, it's, it's basically give you the uh, you know, uh, understanding of uh, tactics, techniques and procedures used by the uh, you know, uh, known malicious group. Okay, uh, It might not give you the specific... Uh, detail about your black hat hackers or your uh, malicious group or uh, you know your attacker or your threat but it, it actually provide a comprehensive or probably simplistic approach of identifying the uh, pattern or uh, kind of a group who would be after your organization based on the industry based on the softwares that you are using based on the geopolitical reason and everything okay now uh, this this miter attack framework uh, you know by using this framework you know you can identify multiple things because this gives you the threat intelligence about uh, you know about every every event that is happening in the organization you can actually map it to the miter attack techniques okay and based on that we understand if we have any possible threat or we have any possible black hat hackers uh, targeting our organization so yeah, this is the the MITRE attack framework can be used to find our potential uh, or maybe any possible bl uh, black hat hackers. So yeah. Okay. So yeah, this is all I have for today's question about hackers. All right. So uh, thank you so much, Jamin. Thank you so much for having me here. So now it's You're time welcome. for the detail. Yeah. Yeah. So now it's time for the detail, uh, you know, explanation. I'll, I'll sh as a part of detail explanation, I'll just give you an idea about uh, MITRE ATT&CK framework and, you know, how does it look like? All right. So I just shared my screen. You can see this is the official website of MITRE ATT&CK framework. The website name is attack.mitre.org. Okay. Now you can see on the bottom. Uh, this is MITRE Corporation. This has been managed by the MITRE Corporation and ATT&CK is basically their framework. Uh, basically, there are multiple matrices for enterprise, for mobile, for ICS as well. We'll be looking at the enterprise. Um, now, there are three components. Uh, as I said, uh, you know, we, uh, the MITRE ATT&CK framework give you the detail about the tactics, techniques and procedures of the uh, threat group. So you can see the tactics, techniques, and procedures will be under it, OK? Now, look at this framework. What is really happening is on the top, whatever you see on the top, the uh, reconnaissance, resource development, uh, the initial access, these are all tactics, OK? What you see under it, it's actual process. The actual tools, uh, you know, strategy is being used. So this is active scanning. Under this, you will have uh, three sub techniques. Okay, once you click on it, you will come across active scanning. There are three sub techniques available. Under techniques, we'll be having the procedures. Okay, and there there are corresponding mitigation technique as well. So if you look at the uh, maybe initial access, you will see phishing. So if I click on this, this will give me the sub techniques. Spare, uh, I have spare phishing link, spare phishing via, uh, via service and everything. Even for persistence, persistence is a tactics, okay? And you can even go from here and understand what exact, exactly is technique. So these are all the tactics available. This gives you why of your attack framework. Why? I mean, why attacker is actually doing it. This is the a tactical goal, the reason of performing the action. Whereas the technique is, uh, I mean, how exactly it has been executed. You can see this is how, okay? For example, adversary or your attacker group did this, this, that, and everything. So every techniques has their corresponding sub-techniques. And under the techniques, we'll be having the procedures available. And 
going further, I mean, if you go further, you will also find the procedures. I mean, the step-by-step -step process uh, about how the attack really happened, okay? So this is very, very helpful. Now, the next benefit is, uh, you know, uh, basically now whatever tool that you use in the organization, like an antivirus software or maybe Splunk as a SIM solution or... Uh, maybe you create new security route. This is all happened based on MITRE attack techniques. So you, based on the every techniques, uh, you can create, uh, you can create actually, uh, let's say I go into the account manipulation. I have this techniques. So I, I can create a rule to detect this specific techniques. Okay. And this is very, very powerful guys. Why? Because what what's really going to happen is because based on the attack techniques itself you can prepare yourself so i know that these are the organization let's say i know that these are the only attackers who are after me let's say i'm in the enterprise now okay so i know that these are the only attacks that or organization that might be after me and are trying to attack into the network so let's say if uh you know if i go into groups go to the cti which is threat intelligence i can go to the groups i can search for all the financials or maybe banking so let's say banking so once you click on banking or banks so you will you can see i have this group this is threat group right you know, just like i said right black hat hackers so this is our black hat hacker we have this specific group, which tag, which is a Russia-based uh, uh, cyber criminal group that targets on banking. They have Trojan. Uh, next, let's look at the another kind of a threat, which is uh, RTM, which was uh, which is active since 2015, which again target, which is again Russian ba Russia based and target the banking industry. Then we have a Whisper Spider that's that targets uh, banking again. And they are financially motivated threat actor. Uh, this group was first seen in 2016. The main targets resides in Russia. Okay. Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, uh, then Poland, and many other. Okay. So, yeah. So, that's how now you understand these are the only attacker group which I should be afraid about. These are like, uh, if I'm into banking... Uh, I should be worried about these three groups. And that's how you prepare your threat intelligence, okay? these This is how we identify our black hat hackers, all right? So uh, I hope this was useful. If you want to know in uh, in detail about MITRE attack framework, I'll, uh, there's a very detailed video I have prepared, very popular video. You can find that in the uh, in my uh, on my YouTube channel as well, or I'll also uh, add the link in the description as well. So, all right, this is me, Rashnish Gupta, and uh, with with Jamin Patak. Thank you so much for having us.